Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to present you today Victoria Kagalowska here in our Da Vinci factory. Uh, and we are very proud to have her with us. She is visiting us from Kiev and she wants to show us a little bit how um, she is working um, on her watercolors and how she can use our specially made Da Vinci by Kagalowska brushes yeah, in her work. And we are really, really, um, yeah, enjoying her visit. And I can now say hello. And I say, Victoria, it's your turn. Start. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm very happy to be here that you invited me. You, Taba, all your company. I was very happy to see all around your big, famous, best brush company in the world. Thank you so much for having me to have uh, to have such opportunity to have this collaboration with you. I'm very proud to be here. Yes, but it's the same from our side, and uh, we we try to be brush specialists. That is true. We try to do quality, and of course, we try. And we love to try new things. And one of the new things was the um, line we developed with you together now, I think since about four months. And uh, in these four months, we, we, we had the idea to, to bring a black and white um, uh, option of a traditional French wash brush on the market. And it was so great to work with you and this idea and that you also uh, allowed us to use your name on the handles. This was very nice and uh, the result from the market is very good. People like what we did together, what we developed together. And uh, let's see now how you use them because talk is theory and we would love to see the practice how you use the brushes. I think that's a, that's a very important step and that's, what, what's, that's why we should do this little video with you. Okay, let's start. Yes, <laughs> of course. I okay. see that you already have a little drawing prepared. Yes, uh, I already have uh, this drawing. Uh, I uh, thought what uh, should I draw today? And um, I always uh, draw different uh, bright uh, girls, mm -hmm. girls, women. Um, and today will be also very, very bright person. It's uh, not real girl. Uh, it's from my imagination. Uh, she's a little bit sad. Uh, sometimes um, I don't draw uh, real people, but uh, a lot of my emotions in these pictures. So today person won't be very very smiling. <laughs> uh, it will be fashion and uh, a little bit sad. But maybe not in the end. <laughs> we will check it. <laughs> yeah. But this is this is your <laughs> artistic freedom and this is how yeah. the times are impressing you and this is part of what you want to do. So don't don't worry. Take the Take the scenery, the, the mood as you think it's best and let us uh, have the option to share your ideas, what you bring on the paper and to look also how you um, make a composition or how you start to develop your paintings. Okay. Uh, before the drawing, I uh, all the time I try to delete extra pencil, and uh, it's allow um, to be more bright for my pictures, and without gray tones. I like uh, transparent watercolor. Uh, it was my I I practice a lot uh, to to this effect because I don't like gray gray tones in my watercolor. I Try don't use black colors at all. But you, <coughs> if I, 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 what I have seen, you 
you have no problem with leaving the pencil on your watercolors. Mm -hmm. You can see the stroke sometimes, right? Yes. Uh, so this is not a this is not a problem for you. No, I don't know why. Uh, when I be, uh, uh, when I was beginner, I tried to delete every pencil, and my uh, sketch before drawing was uh, also transparent. It was very easy sketch. But now I don't know why I like it. That's all. I don't know. I like this uh, sketch. It's, it's like. Uh, you feel like someone was doing this. It's like inside. It's not perfect uh, drawing. We don't have perfect things in our life. That's why. <laughs> Some, yeah, and it's something. also, I think, your kind of style. And uh, you say you yes, like it, but yes, yes. but uh, the success you have shows that a lot of other people also like that idea. So yes, you know? and uh, don't worry about what what will be inside. And people ask me uh, why you leave pencil. Why not? Yeah. Again, That's right. artistic freedom, yeah. do as you want to do it. Yeah. And if you have these three sizes now, if you, if you start a format like you are painting now, which size would you normally pick of the three sizes? The zero, the two or the four? Uh, I usually use uh, three of them. Uh, I all, uh, when I start my drawing, uh, I always start from uh, four size. Uh, because um, I need uh, to do it fast, first uh, layer. It should be enough fast because I like it smooth and uh, smooth uh, first layer. And then I start to use second. Second is my working horse. It's uh, I have uh, a lot of two si two, uh, two size brushes because sometimes I in my uh, one illustration I use uh, two two sizes brushes. Uh, it's for details, for all layers. And then for details, I use uh, zero. It's enough uh, big, but uh, for details, for me, it's now it's okay. That's why okay. I use it for small, small details. And I so you start with the bigger ones and then you are getting smaller. Yep. All yep. right. Yes. Very good to know. Yes. So. Uh, every time when uh, I, I open a uh, new brush, it's uh, so exciting moments. It's like new with this uh, gummy wrapping yes, inside. Yes, but yes. how do you do it? Do you do you open it dry, or do you do it like we recommend it that you put the brushes for maybe 30, 40 seconds in water and you wash the gummy wrapping out? How are you doing it? Uh, I uh, always uh, do it like. Uh, Dry? No, no, no. I, I uh, touch it a lot and then then put in water. Okay, all right. Because it uh, will be faster <laughs> with water. <laughs> <laughs> with water, <laughs> you have to be patient because yeah. what we recommend, and, and it's not so important with the synthetic uh -huh. fibers, but it's very important yes, with, with the natural hair brushes that you really be careful in the beginning, that yeah. you put the brush body into water, let it really. <laughs> take some water inside, let it, really, let it really get wet, and then wash the gum arabic out, which is helping so that the uh, brush head and the brush hair arrives safely to the consumer. So this is, um, um, how can I say, this is the solution we uh, recommend to the consumer. But of course, how you just said, press it a little bit open and go then in the water, <laughs> it's absolutely fine. There's no problem with this. Yeah. With natural, it's yes, dangerous. You can hurt your brush. Yes, exactly. You can really break the hair if you are not patient enough. And it would be a pity if you, if you make some little damages before you even have tried the brush perfectly. Okay. Uh, I'll do it uh, with all brushes. For in, in the beginning, and then so. you are ready for for takeoff. Ah, oh, by the way, we will have. Can you just okay. I'll do as you recommend. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. 
Look, it takes more time without pressing. But absolutely. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. What is, what is it what makes the combination of black and white so interesting? Why what? What is it what makes the combination of black and white so interesting from the look? Um, it's a very fashion. <laughs> it's fashionable, yes? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, it's, um, as you know, uh, I don't know uh, real people. It's, uh, it's with um, faces, part of the face is uh, changed a little bit. It, um, I, uh, when I was uh, started uh, illustration, I started like a fashion illustrator and uh, proportions of body or face was a little change and fashion station it's good and it's it should be like this and then uh, i started to draw portraits and but i said this uh, i can change something or make bigger lips bigger eyes bigger uh, ears it's but but if you if you imagine this fashion uh, how can i say cr cr creatures you are painting Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about human beings or are you more thinking about puppets or uh, the decorating things in textile shops or what is what is your imagination if you paint these characters? Is it movies or is it mm -hmm. just what is in your head or how you would see an ideal lady or what what drives you to the faces you are painting? Oh, depends of depends of situation. Sometimes I I want to create uh, some girl for my t-shirts, for example, or for my uh, for other customers uh, for uh, other illustration uh, advertising or something like that. Uh, sometimes uh, sometimes I just uh, draw something because I was inspired with lips, someone lips, or with uh, good photos or something like that. And sometimes it's just from my head. It's different. What comes out into the hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, today it will be well. It's cool. Uh, it will be a very bright pink and violet girl. Okay. And I like when um, brush it's first time uh, when I have uh, white uh, body. But yes, and with um, other colors, uh, it's all time. It's uh, you can see what color will be. Um, you already can see it on your brush, and you don't need extra paper to understand <laughs> this. <laughs> yes, yes. And sometimes it's I like it. I like this effect of uh, white brush. I uh, used uh, Casanel, uh, normal Casanel, yeah. <laughs> not fashion Casanel, <laughs> if we can say it. And I couldn't see what color will be, but here I can see it. Okay, I uh, start uh, first layer and um, okay. I don't uh, wet my paper. I always start to draw with uh, a dry. This would have paper. been now my next question. So you're not preparing the surface, no. but you are immediately starting uh, with a with a layer you want to do. Yes. I don't know why. That's your style. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm self-touched. That's why I mm, tried a lot of of techniques by myself, and uh, that's why I decided it's easy for me and uh, maybe I wanted to control everything it also could be <laughs> or maybe you are not so patient maybe <laughs> maybe everything could be yeah Okay. 
So the characteristic of this brush is it's a purely uh, vegan synthetic brush. It is a fiber structure which is slightly wavy. That means um, the synthetic fiber tries to imitate um, natural hair, which is never totally straight, which is always kind of wavy and has a roughness, which mm -hmm. makes it possible that water or liquid can be held and is not just flowing out of the brush body. And this was why our traditional Casaneo or the Casaneo White we have been using for your brushes mm -hmm. have been finding so many friends because for a synthetic brush, um, at least as a brush maker, I can say the, the capacity to hold water is relatively high. And uh, what I see now, how you work, it seems that I'm, that I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I need some times uh, because I always use a uh, hair dryer, uh, hair dryer. I hair dry. dryer, yes. Yeah. Um, if I need to, to do it fast, and uh, I use it. But in my techniques, I like to <clears throat> a lot of uh, layers, and uh, I need we need to wait. Sometimes I will cut it. <laughs> okay, so if yeah. you. If you need a little break, you just say, stop. Stop. <laughs> Give me a minute. Yeah. It looks a little bit like an alien. Now, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's from your side. <laughs> <laughs> angry girl. I can do it. It will be more angry. <laughs> Mr. Spock. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, oops, no, not much time. Okay, second brush. Oh, it's already ready for using. Perfect. Yeah. When I, I had the students uh, in school, uh, they all time uh, leave uh, their brushes in the water. And it was like, you understand. When I give, uh, or when I began um, my job also to, to make, um, how can I say, seminars for, for uh, shops and for the staff, mm -hmm. this was something I always told people not to put the brushes with the hair downwards in water because of course this will hurt the hair and it will turn the hair so it's always better to lie them flat or not let it stand on the hair that's very important yeah but new people forget this for in a few seconds yes because yeah. it's much easier it's the logical way you know and yeah. they have learned that a spoon is also in the teacup or, <laughs> or something else. Yes. So they put the brushes also on the, on the tip. But when, sometimes when, people forget that the tip is a very, a very delicate and vulnerable yeah, part of the brush, you know. Yes, and uh, when people start to buy it by, by themselves, they stop to do it. Yes, because they now then they understand better. Yeah. I add some hair in the beginning because it's really like a nail. <laughs> it is? Um, no, but uh, from your side maybe. Okay. Yeah. When you see it from that that but from that angle yes yes i will add uh, i will start to add uh, more and more layers and uh, she will be more volume and it's very, everything will be okay but i can i, I need sometimes because um, 
it's very wet yet. Uh, as I said, the second uh, size brush is uh, more comf uh, comfortable for all the details. And yeah. When I uh, use uh, a few colors, I start to... Um, I use two brushes, for example, in two, ha <laughs> in two heads. One for, for one color, second for another. It's well, because awesome. otherwise it is... It takes you a lot of time to switch and to wash it really out, I understand. Yes, yes. So it's, it's easier to have a, a second tool or a third tool to, to be faster to put um, yeah, oh, the composition yeah. together. Yes. Okay, I try to add more colors. Mm -hmm. Usually I don't do it fast and uh, let uh, each layer to be completely dry. But today it will be more faster and not very easy. Are you, when you are painting, uh, if you watch yourself, are you always turning back to the same color shades? Or are you very, um, how can I say, um, yeah, going from one side of the rainbow to the other side of the rainbow? How, or are you having your favorite colors or is this changing also with the uh, with winter and spring or with your mood or how how are you picking your colors for your for your work i have my favorite colors is this palette it's uh, most of them my favorite colors but uh, main colors all always here i add uh, some some new every time uh, to add some new colors uh, which I, it's which not normal in my palette I all time try to create something new. That's why I, I add something new. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Here is a lot of water. Uh, I like this paper very much, but uh, it takes a lot of water and sometimes it's complicated. That's a Hahnemühle that's yes, yes. quality, right? Yes, with, uh, with hair dryer it's not easy to work because it uh, takes more time than that could be. But it takes a lot of water and a lot of watercolor. And I like this. My favorite paper from for last... Uh, I started with uh, Leonardo and then uh, this, this paper became my favorite. It was released a few years ago, and when I, I have seen it in Frankfurt, it was like, mm -hmm. wow. I've tried it paper. One of the first uh, all-time artists who, who can come to this fair, it's, uh, it's lucky, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah. We can try uh, all this first, and it's really cool. I missed about this feeling. This fair, I was expected that in this year it will be, but, but. Well, who would have imagined that now there is two years without a Frankfurt show? Um, let's hope that that next year in in February we can meet again all together there and yes. to have the whole our whole industry together again to see what was developed and what is what is going on on the market. Yeah. You said yesterday to me that that the quality of the material you have is very important for you and that you are um, 
trying also the best materials and that you often notice that you then have a standard which you do not want to, to leave again. But if you, if you would be asked, what is the most important? The paper, the color or the brushes? What is a difficult question, I guess, huh? Um, yes. <laughs> brushes? Brushes? <laughs> I think skills. <laughs> skills. <laughs> um, um, I don't know. That's what I thought. I would have said the same. <laughs> For me, I think the most important paper. paper. That's what I. That's what I thought. Uh, because with bad paper, it will be, it will be real, but it's hard. For example, if you don't need very thinny details, you can do it with, I think, with with imagination. Yeah. Yes. Yes. My illustration I used normally about 10 layers and all 10 should be very bad. And you need these 10 layers, why? What, what, does, what, what are these layers doing with your paintings? Why are you doing all this effort? Um, when I use uh, one layer with very strong color, it will be not transparent. But when I use a lot of layers, I add one, one, one colors again, uh, and it uh, stay transparent. That's why I need a lot of colors and a very transparent watercolor every time. So it, this is much more magic, gives more magic to the painting. Mm -hmm. That's why I, <laughs> I always, started um, video and then uh, a lot of layers I don't show and then uh, results because it's uh, to see a lot of time the same the same it's it's not it's a little bit boring yeah yes, of yes, course yes. that's why it's first layer and enough then we can stop uh, and then yes but if you watch all these cooking programs they always have 30 minutes later or I have already prepared these all these things which are not so interesting are not to be seen and this is a little bit the same here yes yeah, the same the same that's why it's not a very interesting part I think because I should do the same a lot of times and here it's a lot of water and I can work here in this part. In the color, um, it's, uh, we talked about this yesterday, it's, uh, you never know what will be in the end because um, it live its it whole flows. life. Yes, yes. I, I add this watercolor here and I don't know where it will be and what will be. It's like magic, all time. That's why watercolor is my favorite, favorite painting, painting technique. Technique, yes. Because I never know what will be. Yes. And that's why I don't use. A white watercolor. I don't like it. You don't need it. Yeah. I like to draw fashion uh, girls like on cover of uh, cover for this brush. And uh, I think this brush very fashion. For fashion illustration it's it's like very good. <laughs> All this well, I mean, if I, I'm not a real specialist for the fashion, but if I watch these um, models walking on, the, uh, on these shows, they are not always looking so happy. They are looking yes. very serious. They are looking quite concentrated and not always just 
smiling. Yes, it's a profession. Uh, I was uh, like an illustrator on fashion show and uh, models uh, on backstage all, always smile. Yes, on backstage. They have, but they uh, then have this catwalk uh, and they became more serious. Yes. But I like I, I like this mood with the sleeps and uh, I, I sometimes people ask me why they are so angry. They're not angry, they like fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you have the smallest size of the brushes. Yes. Because... So what I see is you 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 do the details, you you do the the eyelashes and uh, yeah the white in the eyes and so on. Yes, I try to. You give life to your. Yes. To your object. In watercolor, uh, you should. Um, we usually uh, started from the uh, very light, uh, light pieces, and then to dark, 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 dark. But um, in oil color, color, it's different. But in watercolor, I start. Uh, I need some some details because um, I should imagine how it will be in future. And uh, I, uh, in the middle, I always add some some details, black details, uh, just to understand what will be the result. Yes, yes, like it's now, like I do it now. And oops, <laughs> a lot of water. I'm interested in what will be in result with this girl. Sometimes I don't like what uh, what I made and I just put it up. That's all. <laughs> and I have a lot of not finished uh, artworks also. But maybe sometimes you will have the yes. a splendid idea and you finish it and you say Yes. Sometimes. It was great that I waited and now I have the right, how can I say, um, yeah. And sometimes I like something, but people don't like it. It's, mm. I don't know why, why it's happened, because I think, well, it will be something new, perfect, and it will be blah, 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 and people, it's, it's too perfect. <laughs> it's... Um, um, maybe is it's one answer why I don't um, I don't delete this uh, this uh, uh, pencil. Mm. Yes, yes, because it's uh, place for imagination. You can uh, think how it could be, and uh, sometimes it's it, it works, and sometimes I look at it and maybe. Hmm, maybe this line should be here, maybe there. And I see this work. I need time. A lot of water. I like uh, Hanimili paper for this when you, you are not rush and you have time. Uh, you can uh, see like uh, how its watercolor works and how it's moving somewhere. It's like meditation, meditation techniques. Yes. Watercolor, it's, it's every time it's beautiful. When I draw, I forget about everything. What happens and sometimes I can, I can, <laughs> goes go to drawing for two hours and uh, oh it's two hours okay and then you are in another world then you are traveling somewhere else yes yes art it's it's very important and now also for all people it's maybe this is why kids kids like to draw every time 
man when we grow up uh, not all of us save this drawing skills and we think more about results not about the process process yes and apps der Weg ist das Ziel. Ja. Ne? Angry will. Oh, not so angry. No. No, not angry. Astonished. <laughs> Open eyes. Where am I here? What are they doing? Look, it's not so angry now. No, oh, that's what I mean. She's small. A little bit astonished, but open, but also not so sure what's going to happen. Mm, it was uh, tired. Uh, how beautiful looks this uh, color and brush. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All time, it's when you see this. We had about 10 years ago, we had a full line of makeup brushes, which were white mm -hmm. and which had violet, uh, uh, rosé mm -hmm. and green tips, like yeah. similar to what you have now here. Mm -hmm. And we had them as foundation brushes in a set with all the different colors. It had its time and then it was over again. But if you, if I, if I look now at this watercolor brush, it reminds me. Mm -hmm. I like bright colors. And I like to draw girls with different uh, colors of hair. I like different uh, strange makeup. A beautiful color. Huh? Hmm? No blue. I don't know why blue because it's uh, color. It's not very good combinated. Uh, but here it looks like I like. <laughs> Let's see what will be. I think I, I will show results soon. <laughs> not today. This is yeah, this is now again the smallest size, right? From the brush. Yes, it's yeah. the smallest size. I use it for details and But you are washing also a little bit, right? Yes. I wash my brush all the time. Nice color of water. Well, what from a technical side, you are showing us all the time what you are, what you are doing with the brushes. Um, from a technical side, it's relatively easy. You have a, a protection for the brush, mm -hmm. which is always to be recommended to be turned a little bit when you put it away. And then you have a wooden handle, mm -hmm. which is a uh, European wood from sustainable forestry. You have a, a transparent tube and you have a fiber body, which mm -hmm. is then shaped by hand to get to this very, very nice point. This bundle is first shaped, then the brush maker um, cuts it from the back the brush body and the brush bundle is glued from the back. Then it is set into the plastic tube. The plastic tube is set on a protection of the handle and then onto the handle. And then with a very special technique, the four wire sets are done to really fix the brush head onto the handle. This is how it works. So all in all, it's 
four different materials and how careful such a traditional brush is bound. You can easily judge if you take your thumb and you go over the metal wire binding and if it's not hurting at all, if it's really smooth, you can feel that somebody made the brush who really know, knows what he was doing. And this is also very important so that afterwards when working, you are not hurting yourself. So these are the important features of a traditional watercolor brush. We have uh, all the part of artwork. Uh, I think it's 40% of this artwork. Uh, so I will continue it later. And uh, I think uh, you'll show this result in my Instagram account, or maybe I will send this video to you, and you will be able to see it on uh, Da Vinci YouTube channel. Well, okay. what can I say, Victoria? Thank you very much for showing this us here. Thank you very much for showing us how you use the brushes. And yeah, thank you for your time. And uh, yeah, can't wait to, to show people maybe another nice development or thing we can do together. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much.